Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be taking you through the 11 disadvantages of free web hosting services. Because, in case you haven't seen my review of like, you know, the free web hosting services out there already, I'm not a big fan. And I feel like it's a lot of times people actually overestimate free web hosting services. There are a lot of places where you can get bad advice where they say, oh, you know, put your website up on a free web host. But that just isn't the case. If you do want to put your website up and if you do want to, you know, do it for cheap, what I always tell my clients is I tell them to go with Hostinger. So if you do want to check out Hostinger, you can actually head down to my link in the description where I have that linked at a special discount. But now I'm going to take you through the 11 disadvantages of free web hosts because they are not recommended. I do not recommend free web hosts to any of my clients. It is a very, very bad service. And for these reasons, which I'm about to cover, you shouldn't be going with a free web host. Now, the first problem is there's no guarantee. You do not own this server. You do not own anything. Because it is a free web host, the company can take you down or kick you off any time without any reason or any notice, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. All they have to do is decide they don't want to host your website and they don't have to host your website. With these other hosting companies, they will either have to give you notice or wait till your contract is up. There's a lot more free play for you. You're going to be a lot more comfortable on these other hosting platforms like Hostinger. The next problem is advertisements. A lot of times they will stick advertisements on your website and that can just make your website seem unprofessional and just overall bad. You don't want to just have this plethora of advertisements that aren't even paying you on your website and that's what free web hosts do. Another problem is they have bad performance and bad uptime. Because they are free web hosts, because they offer their services for free, you are not going to be expecting good performance, and if you do, you're going to be wrong. Because the performance they offer is just absolutely atrocious overall. Obviously, sometimes you can get lucky, but a lot of times you're going to be severely disappointed. Number four, there are a lot of restrictions. Like, you're not going to have full access to all the customizations, you know, changing DNS, a custom SSL, all of those problems, you might not have access to those because these are free and they just don't, they don't care to give you the fully featured plans and features which normal web hosts would give you. Next up on almost every paid plan nowadays, web hosts come with a free domain name, but for free web hosts, they do not. A lot of times also they will upsell it and they might not even give you the ability to use your own domain even if you purchase it. What I mean by this is they will let you use their free web host if you use a subdomain of their domain, but as soon as you buy a domain they will make you upgrade and pay more for the web hosting. Next up the safety, you, you're just not going to be as safe on a free web hosting platform. They're not going to offer as many security features as these paid web hosts like Hostinger, like Bluehost, places like that, they offer top of the line security and free web hosts just don't do that. Free web hosts also don't offer backups and they offer no customer support 99% of the time. So if you're looking for backups because let's say you mess up on your website and you need to revert it, you're kind of at a loss. And obviously, if you need help reverting it properly, you're not going to have any customer support. They also usually offer very low bandwidth and storage limit, which means you're not going to be hosting very much on your website and you're not going to be able to get a lot of traffic at all. You're not going to be looking at a very big fully featured plan and that I cannot stress that enough. Your plans will not be fully featured and you will not be getting the service you need to host literally any website you want to host. Next up, there also are a lot of fake free website hosts and they also lie a lot about their services. They'll overestimate it, you know, and make it sound better than it is, but you are not going to be getting a good service. I can almost guarantee that. If you go with a free web host, you, you will get what you pay for and because you aren't paying anything, you aren't going to be getting much. And finally, there are just a multitude of different reasons, you know, with each one of these website hosts, these free ones, there are so many different drawbacks that are possible. Like some might not offer cPanel access, some might have bad server locations, they might even misuse your personal data. 
So those have been the 11 reasons why you should not go with a free web host. Honestly, I cannot stress this enough. I tell every one of my customers, do not go with a free web host. If they have a budget restriction, a tight budget, go with Hostinger because you can get a Hostinger plan for 99 cents a month and they guarantee great service for you. So if you do want to check out a Hostinger plan, go ahead and head down to my link in the description where I have that link at a special discount. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload. Thanks for watching till next time and have a great day.